Editing sketches in Fusion 360 allows for greater flexibility and efficiency and the ability to create more complex sketches. I have the 1.4 edit a sketch toy shapes file open and we will use a version of the stack sort master toy design using the previously drawn sketch geometry to learn how to use tools in the modify panel to edit the sketches until we achieve the desired geometry. Let's move to the project browser and select the arrow next to the sketches folder to see the folder's contents. You will see that the only sketch that exists is called sketch one. Select and hold or right click on the name of the sketch and select edit sketch. We are now editing an existing sketch where the sketch geometry was created. The sketches of the various shapes have existing errors and we will use the tools found in the Modify panel to correct the errors. We will start with Fillet and move our way down the panel, showcasing each tool and how it can be used to help achieve the desired result. Let's take a look at Fillet, which places an arc at a specified radius at the intersection of two lines or arcs. To use this tool, let's move to the Modify panel. Select Modify and select Fillet from the menu. The tooltip next to the pointer indicates to select the first line or arc. Move to the upper right corner of the rectangle and select the top horizontal line, which will highlight dark blue to indicate selection. The tooltip next to the pointer tells us to select the second line or arc. Hover the pointer over the right vertical line of the rectangle without selecting it. A red arc will appear as a preview. This arc can be changed after selecting the second line. Select the right vertical line of the rectangle, prompting a dialog box to input the radius of the arc. Without selecting the enter key on the keyboard, I can enter in various values into the dialog box to preview the final result. Enter 0 .20 into the dialog box. Remember, you do not have to enter any units into the dialog box as the unit of measurement will be determined by the document settings, which in this case is set to inches. Select the enter key on the keyboard to establish the arc radius. A dimension will appear indicating the radius of the arc just created. We will come back to use the fillet tool later to finalize the shapes before we finish our sketch.